I wish this story wasn't about me, but for now, it is. I am nobody in particular, just one more person in the sea of humanity, just trying to navigate my life to a place of happiness. Currently, I'm trying to figure out my purpose. I should say at uh, 63 years of age and just recently retired, I've spent a lifetime working on that. I've decided to join the Peace Corps. Come along with me on this adventure to learn why, as I try and answer that question for myself and for others. My name is Richard Lawrence Porter. More than a year, my best non-human friend Copper and I have been living off-grid. We live remotely in the mountains of Utah in several small buildings I've built myself. More about that later. We're about 30 minutes away from the nearest town, Springville, Utah. The last couple of miles to our place is just a dirt and gravel road. So far, you can still drive up and down in a four-wheel drive vehicle. In just a couple more weeks, the snow will make the road impossible to travel, except by snowmobile or tracked vehicles. We own neither, so we'll be snowshoeing up and down the mountain like we did last year. As you can hear copper whining, I think the, the bumps and the winding road gives her stomach a little uneasiness and she always has to go to the bathroom. So you can see that these homes are not as obviously spacious as mine. And these are some of my neighbors. These guys do have water and power. They're at the bottom of the, the gravel road. This is where it starts to be paved. Copper and I live up on the mountain about five or six days a week and then We'll buy food and building supplies and go to church on Sundays, then back up the mountain Sunday night or Monday morning. So we're back on the freeway. Another 10 minutes and we'll be home. On top of Absolutely. For the whole weekend, we usually will stay at the apartment my wife has in Provo. This is actually the house that we live in. We live in a basement apartment. Hi there. Hey, we're home. Life is a documentary now. Which one do you want? Yoga. Which one do you want? You have to explain to the camera. Which is which. <laughs> Here you go. These are both cheaper and more tastier to the dog than these treats. So here we are at the apartment on Thanksgiving Day for dinner with my wife, Natalie, and two of my five adult sons. I've brought down a table I had bought, used, and refinished it myself. But please don't look at it too closely. Huh. In fact, please don't look at anything I've ever built too closely. The table's been on the mountain in the outdoor kitchen, but Natalie wanted a, a larger table we could have Thanksgiving dinner on and play some card games. I'm afraid it's not gonna be going back up until spring and, and by then I'll be gone. So the best part of coming home is getting hot showers. And uh, this, is, this is waterproof, right? Natalie, by the way, is a, a great cook. She actually went to Paris and Milan this past summer. Well, she already knew how to make bread, but she learned how to make better bread and pastries and desserts. What are you making? Cheesy rolls. Deliciousness is what I'm making is deliciousness. So you might think that there we're wealthy going off to um, European cooking schools and owning property on a mountain with a view. In some ways, I would probably agree with you. We live here in America, the, the greatest land of opportunity and wealth. 
um, where even the poorest people have electricity 24 seven, clean water, cheap entertainment, fast internet, and indoor plumbing. Certainly we have all the basics we need and want and a lot of the first world luxuries to boot. But I'm retired. I don't have an income anymore. The only money I get is whatever the government sends me monthly for um, Social Security. I have no um, 401ks or savings anymore because we use that to get out of debt and to help us to build the buildings we have up on the mountain. Natalie works full time, but she doesn't make all that much money. We do fine on just one income. So I don't think that we're necessarily rich Americans. And that trip to Europe, well, that was kind of a, a reward or a perk that uh, Natalie got from her job. And I didn't even go with. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes, gobble gobble to you too. So we are, uh, how, how's your Thanksgiving going? Oh, it's just me and Keith, quiet. Yeah, okay. Yeah, how about you? Um, yeah, McKay and, and Natalie and me right now and then. Today we'll only have a couple of the boys here with us. McKay is our youngest. He has spina bifida and has been through many operations and health struggles in his life thus far. Luke and his wife, Christine, live in Salt Lake. Luke is a photographer and a videographer like me, but is, he's much better at it than I ever was. Another son, Dash, he's a traveling doctor and lives sometimes in Vermont and sometimes in Colorado with his wife, M. Lincoln, my middle son, is a workaholic and he's likely working today. Happy Thanksgiving. Yep, happy Thanksgiving. Hey, I, sorry I didn't uh, call you sooner or invite you over or anything. How are you doing? Are you, are you, do they take care of you over there? That's fine. Uh, no, they're not doing anything here today. Uh, they always do. So that was my son, my oldest son, Adam. He's now 40, and he has a very severe spina bifida. He's in a, an assisted living place. And uh, oh, maybe I should have thought earlier about getting him to come and spend Thanksgiving with us. Uh, he is in a wheelchair, and we do have a few stirs, but it wouldn't have been that bad. Back to the theme of the day. It's Thanksgiving Day. And it's a perfect time to ask yourself, what are you thankful for? So I put everyone on camera and asked them, what are you thankful for on Thanksgiving Day? Parents cooking. I'm not cooking anything. Maybe you, maybe you should be grateful. I am not. Mother's cooking. Mostly I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for wonderful place that I can be in as far as my job and my place I'm staying. What are you thankful for? Oh, drink. one more thing. Move that chair. You got a chair next to you. Get out of here, chair. We're not thankful for you. Well, I'm thankful for many things. Careful because I will use outtakes whenever I can, as you can imagine. Then I'm not thankful for <laughs> that many things. I'm thankful for Christine, because she's the most amazing person. Well, I want to preface by saying if I knew I was being filmed, I would have had my hair down. I am thankful for Luke. I do want to say that. He's pretty great. Um, always there for me, and I adore him very much. What are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? I'm thankful for everything. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my husband. Thankful for my job. I am thankful for the direction our lives are going. I'm thankful for my children. Every single one of them is absolutely amazing. I've been asking everybody today what you're thankful for. So what are you thankful for today? Relatively good health. Yeah? Things have been going yeah. good? You've kept yourself up? <laughs> Overall, pretty good. Grateful for the dogs. We have a couple dogs and our, our, I don't know, our rabbits, I guess. I'm not really that grateful for them. Um, I'm also thankful for... That's actually it. Just Christine. Yo, ho, ho. Uh-oh. Uh-oh.
Uh oh, is right. Two for me, one for Luke. Why am I going to the Peace Corps? Maybe it's the adventure. I'm sure that's one reason. Maybe it's where I'm supposed to be. It's what I'm supposed to do. Maybe it's complicated. Maybe there's a million reasons. Maybe it's because I'm grateful. You know, at this point in my life, it's not about paying it forward. It's about paying it back. And as I look over my life, I, I wonder if I feel a little less than confident about who I am or what I've done in my life, what I've accomplished. There will be a day when I will die. It'll probably be sooner than most people watching this. And I will meet my maker. I still think I need a few more brownie points, as I call it. I do. Life hasn't been perfect. It never is. It's not supposed to be, I know. But like everyone else, I've made decisions that were bad or did things that were selfish or didn't do things that I should have or did too much of the wrong things. <laughs> and so there's still something for me to do that I can feel better about myself. That's important. You know, of course, the decision to join the Peace Corps occurred months ago. And yet I thought this Thanksgiving Day would be a good start for the whole series. Because I do think that is a major reason for going. Gratitude. Life has been amazing. My life, my family's life has been so blessed. And when you're older, especially, you know Serving is one of the best ways to feel good about yourself. I've often told people, it's the most selfish thing I can do. I know I'm going to benefit the most.